So this is gonna be a depressing video to make, but hopefully an entertaining one to watch. Hello, hello, today we're talking the best Five Nights at Freddy's merchandise flukes that I didn't buy because I'm a bloody buffoon, mate. In case you don't know what I mean by fluke, it's when a listing's price is much lower than its current aftermarket value. For example, if you find a Funko Shadow Freddy plush today for $20. Oh, and for this video, I'm only going to be talking about items that I saw up for sale, and I just decided to go poo poo brain and just not buy them for whatever reason. So I'm not going to be talking about items that I saw when they had already sold. Oh, and this has happened more times than I'd like to admit. So if you want to see me go for even more pain and remind myself of all of these great flicks I didn't buy, let me know and I might just do a part two. Alright, let's start off by going back to March of 2020, when this one seller had an official Funko Bonnet plushie on both eBay UK and Amazon UK for only £20. Yeah, British money, in it. You know what's even worse? This wasn't just around for like a day or so, this was around for weeks, a month even. I'm really not sure why I was holding back so long, but I most certainly regret it. Now, of course, I do have a bonnet plushie by now, but it's in used condition, bought it off of eBay in used condition, whilst this one on Amazon was brand new with tags, and you know how I am about those tags. Oh, and by the way, I can like 100% confirm that this listing was legit, because I have a friend who actually bought that listing, wise decision by the way, and yes, they actually did get a brand new condition bonnet plushie by Funko. This next fluke again comes from March 2020. Jeez, what was I thinking during that era? Well, it was for an entire display case of 12 glow-in-the-dark Wave 1 mystery minis. Yes, that's right, an entire factory sealed case, including the display box of 12 glow-in-the-dark FNAF Wave 1 mystery minis in 2020. And guess how much it was? £40. That is literally less than the retail price for it. And you know what I especially love about the Wave 1 Glow in the Dark Mystery Minis? Is that they're all 1 in 12, so if you buy an entire display case of them, you're gonna get every single one of them. So, at that moment, I had the opportunity to have the entire set right on the spot alongside that lovely display box. Switch forward to a few years later, and I only have a couple of them, and I sure as hell don't have the display box. And just like Bonnet, they had quite a few of those display boxes available, being around for a few weeks, and I have no idea why I was just so silly to not go ahead and buy that, because I surely regret that one, even more so than the Bonnet. This next one was in January of 2021. Now, you want to listen up for this one. This was for a brand new in-box Nightmare Bonnie action figure, as a buy now on eBay, for £10. If you know even the slightest about FNAF action figures, you'll know just how great of a deal that is. And I have absolutely no explanation as to why I didn't buy it. It's right in the spot. I was staring right at the listing. It was still in stock. £10 for one in box. And you should know that the Nightmare figures, especially in box, will run you a lot of money. And I had been thinking about this listing constantly until I actually ended up getting that Nightmare Bonnie in box action figure just a couple of weeks ago. Up next is probably one of the more recent ones. This is from July of 2021, and it's one of the more regretful ones. This was for a brand new tag to Jumbo Blacklight Cupcake plushie on eBay UK for only £30. Oh, and you want to know my reason for not buying it? Oh, I didn't have the space for it. <laughs> yeah, my ass. Oh, and another thing, when the listing was still up, I can remember my brother constantly telling me that I need to buy it because he knew surely that I would regret it, and I'll tell you one thing, he was most definitely right. Let's talk another Jumbo Funko plush by going back to July of 2020, and this was a UK eBay auction for a Jumbo Nightmare Bonnie plushie, and it ended at only £45. Jumbo Nightmare Bonnie is currently my most wanted Jumbo FNAF plush, and he's so, so rare to think that I could have had him two years ago for a bargain price. And another thing, ever since that listing, I haven't seen a single Jumbo Nightmare Bonnie plush go up for sale in the UK. In the same month as the Jumbo Nightmare Bonnie plushie, that being July 2020, there was another auction. This was for a brand new tagged Funko Golden Freddy plush in the UK, and it only ended at £50. 
Look, you probably all know by now the story between me and the Funko Golden Freddy plush. I've been hunting for it for over six years, ever since he came out, and I only got it about a month or two ago. And the one I got isn't even tagged, so I am gonna go have to go ahead and get another one eventually that is tagged, which is gonna be even more difficult to think that two years ago, I could have had it tagged. Oh, and here's another one that isn't quite as bad as any of the others, but it's still pretty annoying. So this one was in August 2019. Basically, Smith's toy still had the flocked Funtime Foxy Funko Pop in stock for home delivery. It was only a tanner and I was gonna buy it, but you know who I bought over it? I decided, you know what, instead of getting this, I'm gonna go over to Amazon and just buy the original Ballora Pop. Okay, that's enough talking about online listings for now. I'd like to save some more for possible future parts. Let's talk about some times that I didn't get things physically. I found them in stores and I didn't get them. Oh, and in case you're wondering why most of these listings came from 2020 and 2021, it's because before 2020, I didn't really use eBay that much to look for FNAF merch. I know, I really regret it. You know what I used to rely on for FNAF merch back in the day? Amazon. Yeah, talk about how many times I got scammed, eh? Oh, and also before 2020, I wasn't making any money off of YouTube, so I just didn't really have any money to go and spend on FNAF merch. This first one's from May 2018. We were gonna head to good old Smith's Toys because my brother was locked and loaded with cash. I had a little bit and I was gonna head with him and pick up probably like a Twisted One's Funko Pop or something. But a couple of days before we went to Smith's, we went to like an amusement place, you know? They had a sweet little arcade there. And of course, the thing that hooked me was a claw machine with good stuff FNAF plushies. And this was like May 2018, so the brand new ones had just dropped. The sister location ones and the FNAF 2 ones. And I picked in instead of saving it to go to smith's which i originally intended i threw all of it into that claw machine trying to win a good stuff balloon boy plushie and the machine was rigged against me didn't even get it i threw in all of my money trying to get it now this next one still haunts me till this day so i had a old good old trip down to old tesco's bruv and they had some great fnaf action figures in stock at the time this was in august 2019 so they had a little bit and a Blacklight Foxy action figure. And wisely enough, I decided to go ahead with Lobit. Unfortunately, I only had the amount to buy one of them. And it just really bums me. I really, really wish I had the amount to buy both of them. Because to this day, I still don't own a Blacklight Foxy action figure. And later on in that month, as I said, I went ahead and bought a Ballora pop off of Amazon. Instead of doing that, I should have went back to Tesco's and seen if they still had Blacklight Foxy. Would have been a much better buy. Okay, and I think that's gonna do it for one day. I think I've hurt my soul enough by reminding me of these burning, horrible, horrible, gruesome memories. Okay, so thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know again in the comments if you would like to see a part two, because despite the pain I go through, it was a lot of fun recording this and just uh, reminiscently reminding myself of all of these horrible, horrible moments. So if you'd like to see another one, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Jump, 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 jump,